Am I missing something? Oh, well, you're not missing anything. Madonna is a little, she's gotten off her rocker a little bit here and there. Was she, yes. was she trying, was she being playful here and maybe just use the wrong words? Was she trying to send a really sharp message? No. I, I'm I, confused there a little bit. I feel like she did something else. I can't remember what it was, but I think she's had some issues aging gracefully and sort of wanting to keep, be relevant. Yeah. And I think she's struggling to remain relevant. Right, instead of just being confident in what she's done because she is one of the most recognizable yeah. Yeah. and incredible artists of our time, but you gotta kind of let it go. Should we give you the floor? Do you yes. wanna so, want address yes, Madonna? Yes, yes, no, yes. I did some research Miss, on Miss this. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I've got some statistics to share oh. with the folks at home. That's a thousand words Chicago. on that paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so of course, uh, so I didn't necessarily take it as master slavery, you didn't white, see any black. Race, uh, I didn't see the racial. race thing. I thought that was Twitter being a little sensitive. But I did see it as she's saying, like, I'm the GOAT. I'm the greatest of all time. Yeah. Beyonce, you peasant, follow me. So <laughs> I did take it as that. And I was like, mm-mm, girl, not my beehive. So the beehive <laughs> is, of course, responding and jumping on this. So I had to do some research. Beyonce has sold around 80 million records worldwide. Madonna? 300 million records worldwide. Ooh. Madonna is a pretty big deal. What I think she's running well, I into. I did not see this coming. The G numbers Suki. don't lie. <laughs> I, I'm still a reporter. I got to give you the unbiased wow. facts. So, what, but here's the thing I think what she's running into is that Madonna's 59. Mm. So, she's been in the game for a long time, should be respected. However, it's a whole generation of people who don't know about her music and don't follow her. So, that's something you got to keep in mind. But I have more numbers for you folks, okay? Beyonce, she has 22 Grammy wins. Yeah. Madonna, seven. Yeah. Yes. So I said seven. But so maybe here's what <laughs> here, and I, you see this in sports all the time. Like yeah. Shaquille O'Neal, one of the greatest centers of all time, would take shots at younger centers, which he seemingly had no contact with. It's like Shaq just aged gracefully. Everybody knows yes. what she did on the court. And he got <laughs> smart. Now he has all the endorsement deals. Yes. He's aging yes. very wealthily. Yes, <laughs> but the bigger thing is there's a vulnerability. When the yes. ego has been yeah. fed for so right. long and then the lights kind of go out and yeah. you're not getting that same support and it's now somebody new, you feel like you got to take shots at them. So I feel like somewhere along the line, Beyonce slighted Madonna, not knowing that she slighted Madonna. Oh. And Madonna's been sitting on this to the yeah. point where she's like, you know what? I'm coming at this you think it's yeah. some other don't undercover be, don't celebrity Don't be style. bitter, age gracefully. Just know there's always going to be somebody younger, prettier, smarter always. than you coming along. Just be happy with yourself. Yes. That's a good way to mm. put that. A great yeah. way to um, also it. note that uh, Beyonce <laughs> and Madonna, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, so, so I'm <laughs> missing something. Oh, well, you're not missing anything. Madonna is a little, she's gotten off her rocker a little bit here and there. Was she, yes. was she trying, was she being playful here and maybe just use the wrong words? Was she trying to send a really sharp message? No. I, I'm I, confused there a little bit. I feel like she did something else. I can't remember what it was, but I think she's had some issues aging gracefully and sort of wanting to keep, be relevant. Yeah. And I think she's struggling to remain relevant. Right, instead of just being confident in what she's done because she is one of the, most recognizable yeah. Yeah. and incredible artists of our time, but you gotta kind of let it go. Should we give you the floor? Do you yes. wanna, so, wanna address yes. Madonna? Yes, yes, no, yes. I did some research Miss, on Miss yes, Beyonce. Yes, yes, yes. I've got some statistics to <laughs> share with the folks at home. That's a thousand words Chicago. on that paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so of course, uh, so I didn't necessarily take it as master slavery, you didn't white, see any black. Race, uh, I didn't see any the race racial. thing. I thought that was Twitter being a little sensitive. But I did see it as she's saying, like, I'm the GOAT. I'm the greatest of all time. Yeah. Beyonce, you peasant, follow me. So <laughs> I did take it as that. And I was like, mm mm, girl, not my beehive. So the beehive <laughs> is, of course, responding and jumping on this. So I had to do some research. Beyonce has sold around 80 million records worldwide. Madonna, 300 million records worldwide. Ooh. Madonna is a pretty big deal. What I think she's running well, I into. I did not see this coming. The G numbers Suki. don't lie. <laughs> I, I'm still a reporter. I got to give you the unbiased wow. facts. So, what, but here's the thing I think what she's running into is that Madonna's 59. Mm. So, she's been in the game for a long time, should be respected. However, it's a whole generation of people who don't know about her music and don't follow her. So, that's something you got to keep in mind. But I have more numbers for you folks, okay? Beyonce, she has 22 Grammy wins. Yeah. Madonna, seven. Yeah. Yes, so, I said seven. But so maybe here's what, <laughs> here, and I, you see this in sports all the time. Like yeah. Shaquille O'Neal, one of the greatest centers of all time, would take shots at younger centers, which he seemingly had no contact with. It's like, Shaq just aged gracefully. Everybody knows yes. what she did on the court. And he got smart. Now he has all the endorsement deals. Yes. He's aging very yes. wealthily. Yes, but the bigger thing is there's a vulnerability. When the yes. ego has been yeah. fed for so right. long and then the lights kind of go out and yeah. you're not getting that same support and it's now somebody new, 
you feel like you got to take shots at them. So I feel like somewhere along the line, Beyonce slighted Madonna, not knowing that she slighted Madonna. Oh. And Madonna's been sitting on this to the yeah. point where she's like, you know what? I'm coming at this. You think one. it's yeah. another don't undercover be, don't celebrity be stuff? Don't be bitter. Age gracefully. Just know there's always going to be somebody younger, prettier, smarter always. than you coming along. Just be happy with yourself. Yes. That's a good way to put that. It's a great yeah. way to tie um, it Also on. note that uh, Beyonce <laughs> and Madonna, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Imagine how much this means to them as a culture. One woman said she drove her father around just because her father was always driving her around. So she wanted to return the favor. I just Aww. think it's pretty cool. It's awesome. And you said this was mostly driven by economics, right? Yeah, so that's what they're saying. Um, Saudi Arabia, they have a goal to actually raise uh, women's participation in the workforce by 30%. So they're thinking this will improve the country's overall economic standpoint. Um, and they're trying to do that by the year 2030. So this is a step to do that before mm -hmm. women had to depend on, they maybe did not work because they had to depend on a man, yeah, a like father, a some man sure. in their family to get them to, to work. Or they had to pay, use their money to pay for a driver to take them to work. So it's kind of a big deal. I love when money and the economy actually um, pushes the agenda progressively mm -hmm. and that's something that we've always wanted to do with, as a U.S. like with our trade relations with like Russia and with China. It's like let's hope that all the economy and economic relationships that we have and folks having access to more money and the capitalist system is what's going to bring in more democracy, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what we hope for. Yeah, absolutely. You would just hope with this again seeming such a basic right uh, given to these women in Saudi Arabia, you would hope that this is also a look at progressively how they are viewed and how they are appreciated and ultimately respected because mm -hmm. clearly that wasn't coming if this is just now something that's being allowed in their country. So hopefully women are being more valued in the workplace on top of being hired but also being looked at as equals on the same playing field because again it's 2018. You should not be judged as lesser for any reason. We're all human. We're all on the same level. Yeah, the country still, they that, still right? have a, a long way to go but any progress is progress. We love progress. Yeah, that's right.